Hey guys, ADHD here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build an awesome Hero Brian Rising from the Dead Survival House. It's pretty awesome. If you guys are new here, you should definitely check out the skeleton one, also the zombie one that I made. I'll be putting a link to it down below. So for this build, you're going to have already had built the tombstone. So I'll put a link down below to the tombstone as well. And go ahead and build that first, then come back to this video and you can start building. Because this is a three-part series with the zombie one, the skeleton one, also a Hero Brian one. So today is the we're going to be building the Hero Brand one. So for this build, you're going to need spruce planks, you're going to need oak planks, you're going to need cyan wool, block of diamond, you're going to need red wool, you're going to need some soul sand, some cobblestone, and we're also going to need some white stained clay and some snow blocks. But we'll get to those out when we need them. Alright, so let's start it right now. We're going to start with the cyan wool. Okay guys, so before we get completely started, if you guys need to be a huge favor and just scroll down really quickly and hit that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. It costs you absolutely nothing and it helps me out a lot, so if you could do that, that would be awesome. Okay, so getting started here, I want you guys to center up the build, and the way you're going to do that is if you already have these, you know, the tombstone built, which it should, you're just going to go ahead and look at the eye, and these two center blocks here are going to be our center. And you're going to come all the way down until you're three blocks, and basically you get into the sand, the soul sand first. And you're going to go out a total of four blocks. So one, two, three, and four. On those two center blocks, place your cyan wool. And make sure that's centered with the eye. And on both those, go up by nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then do the same thing on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? And again, it should be centered. It should be a total of ten now. Two, you know, two rows of ten, basically going straight up, that are centered with the eye all the way back here in the back. Okay, and now what I would just do is on the right and left side of this, just go ahead and add three rows of the exact same height. So one, then two, then three. Now do the same thing on this side. One, two, and three. All right, and now that you have this done, what I want you guys to do is go ahead and do four rows going back. Okay, or going forward technically towards the front of the you know the actual grave site. So one, two, three, and four. Alright, and now do the same thing over here on this side. One, two, three, and four. Alright. And then once you've done that, all we have to do is get some, you know, back the cyan wool back out and just go ahead and connect all this to another wall, basically like the one right in front of us. And then this is pretty much his torso. All we're going to do is the last thing we're going to change is our last row. Okay. And once we get to the last row right here, all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and leave basically this, like, two center blocks open just like that. All right. And let me make sure that's 100% correct as well real quick. All right. Oh, I'm actually wrong. So you're gonna leave two, four in the middle right here, four in the middle, and then two down here. I completely forgot about that. My bad. I don't even think my original one. Oh, I don't have it over here. But I had an original like template one I made. You know, it was like an example one, and I don't think that one had that. But anyway, go ahead and make sure it's like that. And once you have it like that, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the right real quick, and we're gonna go into the top corner right here. We're gonna go out a total of four. So one, two, three, four. Same thing over here on this side. One, two, three, four. Then go down two blocks, one, two, and then three on the third block here, go one, two, three, four. Same thing over here, one, two, and on the third block, go out by four, one, two, three, four. And then just go to connect those all to each other. All right, and then just fill everything in. Fill it in over here. Fill it in the back. And on the top, just like that. And then coming over here, fill this in as well. All right, and now it's this side over here. On this corner, again, bring it out by four. One, two, three, four. This corner as well. One, two, three, four. Come down by three blocks. One, two, three. Bring it out by four. One, two, three, four. Over here as well. One, two, three. Oops, two, three, four. Then go and connect those. And then fill them in. It's a really simple build, actually. It's actually the hardest one of all of these is definitely the skeleton. The skeleton one is the most difficult one, but even that one's not that hard, really. All right, and then fill this in over here, this side as well. Fill in our top piece. 
These are actually so easy, I'm able to do them pretty much in one cut, like, you know, one, like, you know, one take, which I don't normally can't do. <laughs> Alright, so, once we have that done, um, let's see, what do we want to do, the arms first or the head first? Uh, we'll do the arms first. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to go out some, or we get our stain clay out first, that's what we're going to need first. So get our white stain clay out, and I think this should be 10 or 8 from here, so let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yep, perfect. So all we're going to do is from the shirt right here, those, basically those squares we added, we're going to bring these out by 8. So go start at this corner, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and we don't really need to count every single one out, we counted one, and the rest of them we can just kind of eyeball like this, all right? And then this corner as well. And this corner as well. And what I mean by corners, guys, is like basically just those squares you just added to the build. So the torso is completely irrelevant as right as of right now. All right, and then just go and connect those. And then the same way we did the uh, you know little those little you know the shoulder area, we're just gonna go ahead and do the uh, you know the arm. We're just gonna fill all this in with that white stained clay. All right, come to the bottom, fill this in. Come to this side, and again, guys, as always, if you guys need to pause it at any point in the video, feel free to do so. All right, and then over here, oops, having trouble with that block. Jesus, all right, <laughs> fill that in, and then the top. And over here, all right, perfect. And then really quickly, just fill in this collar area with that white stained clay as well, because we already have it out. All right, and then do this arm as well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one as well. I'm going to count this one out to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll just do the other corners. And over here. And then connect them. And then just fill everything in. If this, if you have somebody who actually built, you know, all three of these so far, leave me a comment down below saying you built all three. And you know, I'll try and like it in the comment section if I can. And, you know, don't be, don't lie though. You know, actually, I built all three of them <laughs> because I want to. You know, if you if you built all three of them, you should, this should, this house should be a breeze for you because it's like pretty much just replicating what we've done many of times now at this point. Okay, so now we have the actual arms and body done. Let's go ahead and add the head real quick. So what we're gonna do is basically ignoring you know the arms again. Just imagine the body area here. We're just gonna put a lid on it. And that's pretty simple. All we're gonna do is we're just get the uh, white stain clay. And we're going to go around this entire body area. Just like this. And then in the back, you're going to go off one by one block. And then on the front, you're going to go off by one block. Okay. And then building against this front, we're going to start the actual face here. So I'm going to get out some uh, brown stained clay real quick. And we're also going to need some brown wool. Oh, and some white, uh, some uh, white wool or snow. I think snow looks the best for Hero Brian because you know, it's you know it's a little bit it's a it's a whiter color. Okay, so starting on the left side here. Again, we're working against this right now. It's going to be two white stained clay. One, two. Then it's going to be one brown star. So four brown stained clay. One, two, three, four. Then two white stained clay. Next row, two white stained clay. One, two. One brown stained clay. Two white stained clay. One brown stained clay. Two white stained clay. Then the next row is going to be three white stained clay, one, two, three. Then two brown stained clay, one, two. Then three white stained clay, one, two, three. Then the next row is going to be one white stained clay, two snow or white wool, two white stained clay, two snow, then one white stained clay. Then the next row is going to be a full row of white stained clay. Next row is going to be one brown wool. Then it's going to be six white stained clay, one, two, three, four, five, six, one brown wool. Then our final two rows are going to be two rows of just brown wool. Alright, so now we have that done, let's do the side of his head real quick. So for the side, what we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go up, basically, let me see, I think it would be up by two. So go up by two white stained clay, again, basically come like to the right side of the head right here. And starting here, you're going to go up by three. So you're going to go up by three right here with the uh, white stained clay. Or maybe, oh, wait, no, you're going to go up by two, sorry, one, two. Then you're going to do brown, stain, brown wool the rest of the way up, okay? Then the next row, you're going to go up by three, or I'm sorry, four, one, one, two, three, four. The next one, same thing, one, two, three, four. Then a brown wool the rest of the way up. Then our next one, we're going to go up by one. And then it's going to be brown wool the rest of the way up. Oops, well, I like that. Just like this. We're, wait, let me see. I'm sorry, guys. Bring that one up by three right here. So basically from the other one, so bring it up by two. 
and then brown wool all the way up right here. And then the rest of this is all brown wool. Okay. And I'll, I know that part may have been a little bit confusing, so I'll back up so you can pause it and take a look at this if you want to. Alright. And then what you're going to do is come to this side and do the exact same thing. So just basically replicate that side. So I'm going to copy it like this because that's a little bit easier for me because I always have trouble with the white stained clay parts, to be honest. Alright, and then once you have that part done, you just fill it all into the brown wool. Alright, and then the back of his head here, what we're going to do is remove all these blocks right here and replace them with brown wool. And then go with brown wool all the way up. And you can even do a little bit more of an indent than this, I think. Actually, it's probably about two like that, actually. Okay, and then you're going to go with the brown wool all the way up. And again, feel free to adjust that too, you know, if that doesn't look good to you. Alright. I think on the actual, like, skin layout for Hero Brian, it actually has the brown wall all the way down, like right here. Um, and we could do that, but for me, I don't really think it looks as good. I mean, whose head really just, like, the head hair goes all the way down to the neck. Like, normally there's, like, a little bit, you know, a bit of, like, a circular type pattern. So that's why I do like that, but you can do like this if you want to. Alright, so then just go ahead and fill the top in with the brown wool. Alright, and then I'm also going to show you guys a really cool secret on how you guys can make this into Steve, like, really easily. If you guys want to make a Steve statue as well. <laughs> okay, so here's my secret here, guys. And, you know, this is, we're breaking new ground here, so prepare for this. Alright, so what we're going to do to make the Steve is just do that. <laughs> so now we have a Steve rising from the grave statue. If you want it to be a Steve one, you make a fourth one. Um, it's a pretty now. I might do a whole video on that trick alone. I don't know, maybe. All right. So let's continue on here. So now we have Hero Brian done. So let's start adding the details. You know, as you can see, all these ones have details. But now we're gonna start adding those details. So let me get the equipment out for that real quick. All right, change my mind. We should actually do the sword first. I forgot about that to be honest. So the sword. What we're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and go basically to the left arm and go in one and what you're going to do is basically on these blocks right here these two blocks you're going to do the cyan wool just like this so imagine that okay so I'm going to do the left one first you're going to take that cyan wool and you're going to go out one then down diagonal one then down diagonal one then down one to the right one then diagonal up one and then connect it with one and I'll back up so you can pause and take a look at that and try and replicate that real quick and go ahead and feel free to pause the video all right. And then next we're doing this one. Follow along. It's gonna be up one, to the right one, up one, diagonal, to the right, down, diagonal, and then connect it straight down, just like that. All right. And again, feel free to you know change that or whatever you need to do with that. And the reason why is because we're gonna actually it looks a little bit weird right now, but the reason why is we're gonna change these out eventually with some some other stuff for the more detail but just want to leave like that for now so ignore that for right now like i said and we'll be working from here so from here what you're going to do is we're going to go diagonal a total of one two three four five six seven eight so one two again from right here go diagonal one two three four five six seven and eight just like that okay and then we're going to do the exact same thing over here on this bottom one all right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then from right here, what we're gonna do is we'll just connect them like this. All right, and so you can see that's a sword there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill all of this in. If you wanna just make it more like this, you can just go ahead and close it up and just fill all this in with the, with the, uh, with the diamonds. Everything in here now, you wanna fill in with the diamond uh, block. All right, and you can also use like um, a sea lanterns, or I think that's what they're called, sea lanterns. That would look kind of cool too, and have like a glowing sword, but you know, it might be a little too bright. All right, so there you go, that's the top of the sword. Now let's do the little handle on the bottom, which is actually really simple. So let me just do that real quick. All right, so let me back up real quick on this. All right, so the way this is gonna work is you're gonna get out the um, spruce planks. And the positioning is a little bit weird. I think it's like maybe like right here, like maybe three blocks in. You're gonna do uh, on the, the same spot. You're gonna do spruce, then oak, then spruce. You're gonna do spruce, oak, and then right here you're gonna get out some stone. 
And you're just gonna level it off like vessel stone. All right, so let me see how that looks. That looks actually really good. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna again come to this exact same spot and go in by three. And right there is where we're gonna start that same pattern. All right. So I'll pause. You can take a look right here and pause if you need to. And I'll back up. So you can take a sword and look at the sword as well and pause that if you need to. All right. We'll just take a full backup of the whole hero brand before we get started on the actual detailing. All right. And you can feel free to pause at any point. All right, so that's what we got so far, guys. I think the sword looks really awesome. We're gonna start adding the detail now, as far as the blood goes, and like the you know the um, what's called like the soul sand, like you know he just came out the dirt and stuff. So we're gonna add that right now. Okay, so for the soul sand, it's gonna be exactly how I've done every other one so far. If you guys are new here, then you don't know, but for the soul sand and stuff like this on my channel, we don't ever have like an exact template on how that stuff's done. And the reason why is because I feel like that just kind of takes away from the individuality of the build. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. But yours should look different from mine, and yours should look different from your friends if your friend builds the same one. That's the whole point. It's to kind of, you know, separate yours from everybody else's. So, the way we're going to do is, the, you know, coming out the dirt, we're going to go around the entire thing with just like one row of sand, uh, soul sand. If you don't have that out, get it out. Soul sand and also some uh, cobblestone and red wool. We're going to go around the entire thing like this. We're going to go around it twice, just like this. And then one more time, we're almost at the end of this. And then once you've done that, we're gonna go along the center one more time, but on top, so like this. All right, and this is where I'm gonna start, like you guys are gonna kind of be doing it your own way a little bit here. And what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna just go ahead and go around this, and we're gonna remove random blocks just like this, and we're gonna add random blocks kind of like this. And it's just kind of to make it look like it's just mud kind of, you know, sticking to his body as it comes out, you know. There's no, like, you know, like, oh, you did it wrong. Like, there's no there's no way to do it wrong. There's only, you know, there's no wrong way to do this. You're just going to be removing blocks and adding blocks, kind of like this. And my my first example of this build is going to look different from, my, from this example. That's what I think is so cool about this is, like, you know, yours will not look the same as your friends. And this regard, you know, and the blood spots on his body will look different. You know, everything... It's, you know, this part's supposed to be customizable. Alright, so, and then, you know, replace some of them with some cobblestone to kind of make, like, some stones, like, mix inside the mud, you know. Like, I think that's a good amount, you know, you don't want to do too much, but not too little at the same time. And, for me, that's a good amount of mud. You know, if you want to add, like, a bunch coming off of them, you know, you can go ahead and do that. But, for me, that's a good amount. And now I'm going to start adding some of my mud spots. So for my mud spots, I'm going to pick his top head, top, you know, top of his head right here. And again, if you want to copy mine, you can do it exactly the same way if you want to. Um, but I recommend, you know, kind of just customizing yourself a little bit. And that way yours looks a little bit different from mine. And like I said, you know, you don't have the same, you know, like somebody does this exact same tutorial as, you know, you know, however many views a tutorial has and people that actually build it, you're, you'll have the exact same one as everybody else. So, you know, changing this part up may make yours look better. So right here, I'm going to do some. And then in this corner of a shirt, I'm going to do a little bit. You just want to mix it up. You know, you don't want to have all of it in one spot. You don't want to have all, you know, too little in one spot. Because he is just coming straight out of the mud here. He's going to have a little bit of mud on him. All right. So right there. Over here, I'm going to do some. I'm going to replace some of these blocks and add some mud. I'm going to do some right here. Just like that. Okay, so now for the blood. Now the blood, that, oh, messed up there. For the blood, that one, you may be able to copy me. I don't know if it's up to you. Um, we're just going to remove some of this like this down here and then we're gonna fill all that in with the you know with the red wool you could also use redstone I've seen some people do redstone and then leak that down a little bit you might want to make it like kind of dripping off kind of like that maybe a little bit more just like that that looks good to me you may even want to make like a little puddle down there if you wanted to and then we're gonna do on the top of the sword here it's really simple we're just gonna go ahead and take off like you know row by row until you feel like it's like, you know, deeper enough into the sword where we think it looks good. Alright, so I'm going to do that one right here. And then I'm going to bring it down like this. And then I'm going to kind of just like level it off like right around here. Like this. Ooh, not like that. Where is diamond? I lost the diamond. Oh, here it is. <laughs> and then just remove that. And then I'll add one more drip right here as well. You can make it. Maybe let's try this. That look good. Nah, that doesn't look very good. We'll just remove some of that. All right, and like that. There, that looks pretty good to me. So that's a good amount of blood right here. I'm gonna add some more blood up there in the corner of his head. Just you know, play around with it. You know, yours doesn't have to look exactly the same. It doesn't have to look you know different. I'm gonna place some more mud back here. 
And again, feel free to pause and copy me. It's always an option. But like, exactly, like, for like I said, there's no template. Like, I'm not copying any notes here. This is just me completely just looking at it and saying, hey, you know, keep some mud here. Could use some blood here. You know, and that kind of makes it look a little bit more scary. So, that right there to me looks absolutely perfect. Like, that's the look I'm going to go with. You know, if you don't like this and you want to add some more, if you want to change something, feel free to do so. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's actually all there is to this. There is a little way you can make a house out of this. And, we, you know, the house is already here if you built the um, the original, you know, the actual tombstone. This is like an incomplete version. But what you're going to do is you're going to send it, line it up with the eye here. And you're going to go ahead and dig this part out. And we're basically just going to dig into the hero, Brian, like this. And just keep going. I think for me, it's like, I think like right around here where we should be entering him. Oop, we are barely, I think. Yeah, well, that will work because we did a soul sand here. Let me drink the uh, night vision real quick. All right, so that's like already in here. And you're going to want to replace this flooring. Um, I'm just going to do that right now, actually. I'm just going to replace this with some uh, oak planks. Because you want to make it look a little bit more homey than this, you know. I definitely recommend you customize the walkway a bit more if you can. Like the way here, you can kind of make it, you know, do some oak planks and stuff like that. And kind of just play around with it. Because you want to make it look pretty homey. And you can even add like stairs right here if you want to do instead of that. But what I'm going to do is a ladder because that's just a little bit, it takes up less room to me. And like, I don't know, I, I'm everybody that watches my videos and I'm a fan of ladders. Because it's the same, it serves the same purpose as stairs and it takes up a lot less room. So we're going to do that right there. And then you're going to do this all the way to the top of his head up here. And then what we can do is here. Like basically what we're going to do is you see his arms right here would be like right here and here. We're going to remove these blocks. And do the same thing on this side. All right, let me fix that real quick. <laughs> so we're going to remove that. And then you just place that like this. So it shouldn't be like around the same level. And then you can create like a walkway that goes onto that like this. All right, and then once you're here, you want to remove these parts of the arm. And boom, right there we have two guest houses. Like this is like two areas where like your friends could sleep. And let me get the equipment out for that real quick. So this is basically like a guest house. So both arms can be a guest house and then like the bedroom you know the upstairs can be like a master bedroom type design so let me go ahead and get everything i need out to do this so right in this room this is our guest bedroom here we're gonna do you know a chest in the back a furnace two beds and then we'll even give them something to look at by putting a poster back there or two posters can i get one poster okay there you go and then right over here in this corner you can remove this that's actually safe to remove and we're gonna place an anvil and then back here, we're going to have like a storage chest. We're going to have like all of his, you know, major stuff. He has key items back there, his, you know, furnace. And then over here, oh wait, that wasn't supposed to be a chest. That was supposed to be a crafting table. My bad. Crafting table. And then over here, you can have his major chest. Or you can do like an anvil right here. And then have like a, you know, ender chest here. Or like a key item chest. Just like that. You know, like a diamond and stuff like that. And then over here in the arm over here, we'll do the exact same thing. So our chest and front, our crafting table for the, you know, bed. Our little poster. Can it give me some one posters here? Okay, there it goes. And then again, over here in this corner, place our key item, then our full set chest here, and then an anvil. I know this is not a lot of stuff for survival, but this is not meant for him to live here forever like a freeloader. You know, this is your house. He's just, you know, this is just a guest house right here. He's just chilling here for a bit. Okay, so this is your house. This is just your guest rooms, all right? And then up here, you will be living. This is the head of household, literally, as you can tell. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just move all this in right here so we can have an actual roof for it. And then in the back here, we're going to have two beds, just like this. And we're going to have two chests because this is the head of household. You have a lot of stuff you need to take care of. And if you need any extra space, right in here, you got as much space as you need. You can make this a whole... You can. What I did on mine... It was they made different layers, like one layer of garden, one layer like a storage area, and then the down area was just kind of like a little like lounge area. Okay, and then over here we can come back here and go upstairs real quick again to finish that up. And you want to put back here, we can put like a a crafting table, a furnace, you know, an anvil. You know, you, know, you might we'll just put like two chests there, and then we we'll, you know we'll like put an anvil, we might listen to some music someday, put some juke, like a, uh, put a jukebox there, and then put a painting right here. Or not. <laughs> Can I get... It won't give me the right paintings, you guys. It, it gives me... Oh, there you go. Put a painting right there. And there you go. This is our little master bedroom here. And again, if this is not enough space for you, I know it's not like the biggest house ever, but that's it's more about the exterior than anything. 
you know, you could do a lot of stuff in this back area right here. You can do so much with this area. So I'm going to go ahead and get back out here. And that's pretty much it, guys. I know there's not like a lot of interior stuff, but this builds more about the exterior, you know. Maybe, you know, your friend might have a bigger area inside his house, but, you know, he probably doesn't live in an awesome rising from the dead hero, Brian. <laughs> Same thing with the skeleton one and also the zombie one. This set is really awesome. So if you built this one, I highly recommend you build the skeleton one and also the zombie one. They're really, really easy to build. Uh, they're actually a little bit easier than this one now that I'm really looking back on it. Um, so definitely check those out. If you're new here, guys, definitely subscribe. If you guys can hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribing will let you guys basically see all my videos as soon as they're posted. You won't miss any of them. So definitely hit that subscribe button. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.